What's up, gang? Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about AI and how it's going to change the models, the skills that you need to have uh, as a person, and how you can hedge yourself and take advantage of the technological revolution that we are in right now and totally upgrade your life, your business, and your work using. AI as a trampoline for success, not something that will just replace you, make you obsolete. So, first thing that I want to talk about is if you think that AI is just going to do everything for you and life is going to be just la di la di da and you won't have to do any, any work, uh, you're wrong. Uh, what I can tell you is that AI is going to make work more enjoyable, but it's 100% going to be the death of mediocrity. And that's a lot of what we're going to talk about today is mediocrity and how we can hedge yourself if we are me mediocre uh, and how we can play the game in a way that's advantage advantageable to us. So just to give some context around, around this, firstly, LM is a function essentially of the internet or the world's, da world's data. And if it is an accumulation of all the world's data and it outputs the most probable token when it out outputs text, and I'll talk about LLM specifically right now, um, the output will always kind of be a mediocre uh, in a sense and it always will always will be kind of bland unless you have some super specific prompts and are super good and have a very specific use case most of the times it's always going to be mediocre and the thing is yes it's mediocre but it's going to be mediocre at a thousand times the speed of a human and it's going to be basically no cost so if you are mediocre at your work then you're going to be in, in trouble um so that's what we're going to talk about three different things that we can do and how we can reinvent ourselves to avoid this uh, from happening, aka being replaced by an AI system, and how we can use this to our advantage to upgrade our career and actually trampoline our success instead of letting it take over. So the three things are either unique, exceptional, or personal. Uh, I'm going to talk in way more about details uh, about this uh, about all these three things so firstly why unique uh, I'll give you one example for example on LinkedIn if you go on LinkedIn a lot of the posts are gonna be people prompting into the LinkedIn hey write me a, uh, a post that gives 10 tips uh, about the best uh, marketing strategies for 2025 or whatever X business that you're in and it's, and then Chashib Key is just gonna Output that uh, bland that that bland response, and then people post that on LinkedIn, which probably a lot of people that are on LinkedIn are doing that. So, just just because of that reason, is all we're gonna be mediocre. But not only that, since whatever prompt you're doing, it's just whatever it's gonna output is just an accumulation of all the LinkedIn posts that are kind of matching your prompt in kind of a cocktail that just gets barfed out of the AI system. So just for both of those reasons that that, that LinkedIn post is not going to work and the demand for such posts goes down so much due to the um, supply on mediocre mediocre AI posts goes up like times 10,000 since ChatGPT uh, became a thing. So the thing that kind of becomes valuable now in this par in this shift is firstly taste, having good tastes. An example of a company having good taste is, for example, Apple uh, or Ferrari. Um, being yourself becomes way more and more, more uh, important and an important skill to have ever since you know AI is taking over per people's personalities nowadays, especially online and on social and content platforms. And then also, it's also important to reflect your personality so people understand who you are when you post on LinkedIn. So the big thing here is the personality. Like we, 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 because AI is an expert and knows everything already, and it becomes a becomes we become in, become in a world where everybody's an expert and knows all the info already because we have the internet and we have AI. But the thing that becomes valuable in this, these situations is the personality and the actual the heart, heart of the person. And what you're outputting that reflects your personality. Uh, so, and like one thing you might ask you, you, you might answer me like, yeah, I don't have a good personality. Well, 
you're gonna have to work on that because it becomes a more much more important skill skill set to have uh, the soft skills because a much much more important skill set set now than the hard skills. Um, so that's a big shift that's coming, and you you need to prepare yourself for that. The second thing is being exceptional. This one is kind of the hardest of, out of all of them, but it's still very important to, to talk about uh, because as AI kind of takes over all the mediocre stuff and AI is where per definition is mediocre. Uh, the demand for mediocrity obviously goes down, but the demand for excep exceptionality drastically goes up a as a response to that. Um, you know, being exceptional is not really 100% about knowledge, especially in this day and age. It becomes a, pr a mix of soft skills uh, a mix of having a very good perspective on the stuff in your industry, not just knowing everything about everything in your industry, but having a good perspective, being brave in your work and actually taking risks, uh, having good being creative, uh, and a lot of it becomes simplifying information and making it easy, easy to understand and use, um, not just giving information, because everybody has access to all information based basically at all times uh, again due to the internet and AI but making the information simple to understand and be presenting it in a way that people can actually make use of it that's where the real skill comes in um, moving on from there uh, I've already really, really talked about this a little bit but it's the personality and human contact a AI is not really good at giving human contact uh, due to it being AI but it's really good at ad administrative stuff and being fast at doing things. Um, and that's kind of where we will see this big shift. Uh, we will see a lot the volume for not very personal stuff and AI generated stuff goes up so much so that the, when the hu human con con content and, and being face to face, the value for that goes up so much more than in in response to that. I give you an example. My my sales pro process, everything in my sales process is basically automated. I do, I'm not very involved in on a lot of the manual steps of sending the emails and blah 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 blah. But due to AI um, and making everything less personal, I can double down on being more personal in my in my sales outbound process. And that I do, for example, by I do that by filming myself, per, filming personal videos to each client that I reach out to. I, AKA, I'm tripling down on the personality of the of the outreach that I'm doing. Instead of writing an email, that's that's just a general email. I make a personal video for each each client that I reach out to. Actually, so I'm I'm tripling down on that, which is a great example. So, long story short, is basically just double down on human interaction, personality, taste, and on taking action. Uh, bravery is, uh, will also be a great thing uh, in a person's skill set uh, in a world of AI. Um, and it's always to remember that whatever AI produces, always consider it as a draft, and it's our job to create finished products. And that's it for me, and bye.